Hi everyone, I'm Basan Nilamra, tutor for financial reporting at Kaplan School of Accountancy and Management. You can follow me at my Instagram channel, Learn with Basil Nilamra. So in this small short video, we are ju I'm just going to state a shortcut, how you can score better mark on net asset turnover. So when they ask you to interpret net asset turnover, first thing you have to know is that what is the ratio for net asset turnover? It is revenue by capital employed. And if you have watched my past seven videos on interpretation of financial statement, you know that the best method is to analyze. When will net asset turnover increase? Net asset turnover will increase when the numerator revenue increase or when the denominator capital employed decrease. And when will net asset turnover decrease? It will decrease when the numerator revenue decrease or when denominator capital employed increase. So remember that golden rule, numerator and ratio are directly related. That is if numerator increase, ratio increase. If numerator decrease, ratio decrease. And the denominator and ratio are inversely related. That is if denominator increase, ratio decrease. And if denominator decrease, ratio increase, that's it. So what all you have to do is that find whether revenue has increased and if so, why? And also find whether capital employed has increased or decreased and why? And it is same why, whether what the how to interpret capital employed, I have already uploaded six videos on how to interpret ROC and the formula for ROC is profit operating profit divided by capital employed. And in those six videos, I have very clearly explained to you how you have to interpret capital employed. The reason can be they can be an acquisition of subsidiary, they can be purchase of asset, there can be revaluation surplus, there can be issue of shares or issue of loan note, lots of examples. And I have already explained that. So please go through all those six videos how to interpret on ROCE that discuss on detail on capital employed. And next, our focus uh, will be on how to interpret revenue. And how to interpret revenue, I'll be explaining in my next videos. And next videos will be how to interpret gross profit margin and operating margin. And in that videos, I'll be explaining how you have to interpret or increase or decrease in revenue. So, so stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and click on your notification bar so that you will be notified when I upload the remaining videos on how to interpret revenue and how to interpret operating margin and gross profit margin. Thank you, everyone. This is me, Basil Nilamra, tutor of financial reporting at Kaplan School of Accountancy and Management. All the best for your upcoming ACCA FR examination.